Well, hi guys. It's uh, Monday the 12th of August. Uh, they're predicting some heavy rain tonight. So I want to go down to this corner and move some dirt up toward, kind of up toward the road, those toward those trees. And kind of the same thing back behind them. Uh, back in the corner um, before it rains I get it I'll move the dirt and then I'll take the long and the hair gator and kind of go over it a little bit smooth it out but kind of one of those little projects that's needed done so I'm going to do it now before it rains uh, we haven't actually had a good rain for close to three weeks um, hasn't really rained here any the month of August and it was like the 25th I think last time we got a sizable rain that amounted to anything uh, it's, it's sprinkled a couple of times just enough to put a crust on the ground real thin crust but that's about it so I'll get at it uh, I'll get some video I want to get down there. So hang on. We'll be back. Well, <clears throat> I'm getting into it here. And so far, I've got dirt moved off this hump right here back and up. Um, I need to do now is get the harrogator and come start down here and come across at an angle up and around each time kind of bring dirt with it because uh, there's a little bit of a hump right here I've taken a lot of it out but it'll bring the dirt up here to this low spot um, yeah I think this is going to work uh, may have to I'm not sure right in here it's kind of a there was a ridge was a ridge kind of like right in here then I pretty much taken off now and moved it over so like I say I need to take the harrogator and work this way with it to move dirt this way um, it may take me a while to do but I'm going to do it uh, the drain is right over there and the time I'm running across here a time or two it'll level this back in because um, there was a hump right here on the end and that's from, you know, years of pulling disc equipment. You get into a corner, and then you'll always build it up and make a hole in a corner. But you'll make a hump around it. Um, from raising implements up and down, and, you know, let's face it, we all do it. But, this up through here is pretty well leveled out. Now, a little bit higher there about where them last trees are there which is good so I think in that respect I'm doing okay um, yeah if I move take the harrogator and work it that way I think that'll be my best bet because it's about where that dead tree is it's a little bit low and I can bring it right on around if I do it right so that's what I'm going to try to accomplish um, I'm just about to the point I believe the skid steer needs a set of new points of condenser in it uh, it runs great for about an hour hour and 15 20 minutes then it starts sputtering 
and the longer you go after that the worse it gets to run but let it sit and cool off for a little bit and it'll fire back up and run like a top I'm really beginning to believe the probably the, more than anything the condenser is going bad but at any rate guys I'm going to get off here and get back at it I think I may come right here and Nah, that swag is good enough as it is. I just need to work it that way and take that dirt back up and make this uh, swag a little more, I don't want to say pronounced, but get this higher to where it drains this way instead of having a hump right here for it to go through. So, we'll be back here in a few minutes, guys. I'm going to take a breather for a minute, let this thing cool off, get a cold drink. It's kind of warm. So, we'll be back here in a few minutes, guys. Well, hi, guys. Um, I've done what I wanted to do. I got over to about where the combine is with the harrogator. And if you kind of look here, you see all these big clods. Well, that's from this down here. Uh, <clears throat> like I've said before, this ground is really different from about right in there out, kind of like this. And down, this is like it is across the road. Uh, this white, light, fluffy stuff here. That's what the ground is from here up. All these clods you see are from the lower end being drug up with the harrogator. Um, this is how that ground down there breaks. Very seldom does it turn powdery. Um, you know, you get that. But, this end now, I think will drain. And it will stay dry up here. Uh, there's kind of a swag right in there. So, hopefully... Hopefully, I'll solve the problem. Not I've helped it a bunch. Um, <laughs> yeah, tell me it ain't clawed. <laughs> uh, a little bit of a hump right here, but that's where all those claws have congregated and... Uh, really need a land leveler to pull it this way. Harrogator will do a bunch, but it's kind of, you look at this color here and look over there, you can understand how different this ground is. Um, unless you've farmed this ground or farmed ground just like this where this funky soil is uh, you don't know <laughs> how difficult it can be to work this um, I mean you look up through here all these big clods are from this lower end coming up the field and it's mixing it so that's a good thing uh, but you get claws like that, and you see this light, fluffy soil. That's the soil from right in here, not down the field. So it'll be mixing. Uh, we're supposed to get some showers and thunderstorms tonight and early tomorrow morning and some tomorrow. That's the reason I wanted to get on this today and get this done so... If it does rain a bunch, 
is flattened out, it should mellow out and work up pretty good the next time I go to work it. But it's like everything else, <laughs> that's subject to change at any time, you know. At any rate, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I've got other work that I've got to do today. So we'll see you next time. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. <sighs> get her. I wanted to get this done. And then get a good rain on it. Then I can hit it again with a disc good. And then harrogate it all up good, and it's ready for planting whatever. So, <laughs> we'll see you next time, guys. As always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Well, hi, guys. Tuesday, August the 13th. Uh, we got a storm that rolled through last night. Um, got some rain. I don't know exactly how much rain we got yet. But it's enough to moisten the ground back up some. Uh, no water in the ditch, so... Hmm... Maybe a half inch. Because this is not that wet, wet looking, you might say. Um, got enough to worry to break the ground up. Ground break. So, who knows? I may be in here disking uh, tomorrow. I don't know see what kind of rain we're supposed to get kind of come over here and take a look this might be interesting <laughs> oh yeah this is interesting see how much of this dark dirt I moved up the field yeah buddy water standing so we might have got more rain than I thought they sure mellowed this out nice yeah this is looking good uh, but it's funny to see this color change in here where this is light and then it goes down and gets dark and you can see it over through there where the color changes so don't know how much rain we got exactly but there's enough I can see there was water running down this field so might have got more than I thought uh, chances we can have some rain this afternoon. It's hot and sticky. And it feels like it could rain. So, <laughs> why not? Let it rain. Or how wet this is. Mush. Yeah, we got a good bit of rain in Piers. That'll be good. Uh, yeah, this will be good. Probably use, might use the field cultivator on this now. I think that would be a good thing to pull. At any rate, guys. Just a little update, it's uh, Tuesday the 13th, we finally got a rain, this is the first rain we've had probably in three weeks that amounted to anything. I know the corn just up the road here, 
looks a lot better today. If you call greenish yellow good, it's not withered up as bad at least. So, I'm going to call it right here. This has been a success. Now that the uh, that hay is on, well, not hay. The weeds are mowed off and the ground soften up. And the green stuff is pretty well shriveled up. Uh, give it a day or two. And I can probably come over and hit it and it'll break up good. So we'll just have to play that by ear and see what happens. But I think we're going to get some more rain before this is over. Just by the way the clouds isn't moving. <laughs> well, we'll see you next time, guys. And as always, please comment, rate, and subscribe. Uh, literally, this is the first rain in three weeks. So, that should help everybody's crops. <laughs> see you next time, guys.